In today's Black Clover video we explain the existence of angels and why it might have something to do with the origin of magic. Also only a small percentage of the people who watch our videos are actually subscribed so if you end up liking this video consider subscribing. Please enjoy this video, let's go! The evidence for the existence of angels is really there and we will prove it. But when it comes to the past and future involvement of angels in Black Clover, it becomes very difficult to predict and explain. Because there are many things to consider such as why angels have not interfered so far. It's easy to say that angels exist but where are they? So please don't be too hard on us. We know full well that it's a very difficult subject but we think we have done a pretty good job with the little information we have. So let's start. The war in Spade Kingdom gets more intense with each new chapter. Now Lucifer, the king of the underworld, has been released and has manifested 50%. Furthermore, the third Clifford devil, that is the supreme devil of the second gate, whose identity is still unknown, has also been released from the underworld. But even without him, Lucifer is able to defeat all the captains without problems. Now imagine that there are two more rulers of the underworld, who are most likely as strong as Lucifer and also have amazing magic abilities, time and space. And then we have four more supreme devils, each of them stronger than Lilith and Nama, along with probably hundreds of thousands of devils with many high ranking devils who are on a similar level to Zagret, who could almost take down the entire elite of the Clover Kingdom by himself. The power level of the devils is far too high when we consider their full power in full numbers. You can gather all four kingdoms and unite them and they will still lose to all the devils. Considering this insane power of the devils, who the hell defeated the devils in the first war 1200 years ago as we have seen in the memories of the Heart Queens? And how did the war start in the first place? There are two possibilities. First possibility is that the Clifford tree was created 1200 years ago with the devils escaping from the underworld. That is exactly what is happening right now. This of course raises the question of how humans defeated the devils. Because obviously they didn't kill the devils otherwise there would be no more devils. Unless we assume that all the devils are now new devils. Which sounds very wrong considering that devils like Lucifer, Beelzebub, Lilith and Nama are all based on demonology and are therefore fallen angels. The very first devils. It is because of these devils that the underworld was created in the first place as a prison for eternity. The fact that the underworld with all the different layers in the Clifford devils are very similar to demonology. One must assume that the first devils were actually fallen angels otherwise there would be no apostles of the Sephira who are literally the representatives of the ten archangels. But then of course we also have devils like Liebe or Nacht's devils who are not mentioned in demonology so they are not primeval devils and therefore not fallen angels but most likely were born in the underworld. Due to the fact that devils can be born as we have seen with Liebe it could explain why for example Megikula an original devil from Black Clover can be a Clifford devil. If we assume for example that the previous Clifford devil from demonology was defeated and thus Megikula replaced this particular devil. Devil. I think you get the idea, basically not all devils are evil. That's the whole point of Lysita and Liebe. And yet the majority of the underworld is evil, which must have a reason. The most obvious reason is that the underworld was created for evil creatures as a kind of prison. As it is described in demonology, these evil creatures then became rulers and thus influenced the whole underworld. Even those who for some reason were born as devils after the underworld was already created. The fact that the behavior of devils is very very much influenced by the underworld as clearly shown by Nacht's devils. They said that he showed them something they did not know which even made them willing to die for him. The creation of the underworld together with the seven gates that separate the devils from the world of the living raises the question of who created all this in the first place and who banned forbidden magic so that you are punished if you use it. So many questions. This in turn could explain the first devil war from a completely new perspective. Maybe the Devils did not escape from the underworld for the first time 1200 years ago, but it was the moment when the underworld was created. This would mean that at that time a certain number of angels fell from heaven because they refused to serve the humans. We know that references do not necessarily have to be taken literally, but can easily be modified. So maybe the fallen angels who rebelled against God and therefore became devils did not fight in heaven against God, but the holy war actually took place on earth against 
against humans. We know that in demonology Lucifero believed that he should rule over humans, which is the reason for the holy war in heaven. It perfectly reflects the way Lucifero behaves in Black Clover. So if angels exist, why haven't they shown themselves yet? The only reason we can explain why angels have not interfered so far and why they have not shown up at all or even been mentioned is that for some reason they are not allowed to interfere in the human world. The same concept is used in many other series. So how can a higher power help all creatures on earth without interfering? For example by blessing them with mana so that they can fight their own war. This would explain the phrase that the elves are blessed by mana because they may have been the one who received more mana for some reason. This would also explain why the elves are the 10 apostles of Sephira and thus are the representatives of the 10 archangels. If this is really true then this could be the explanation for the origin of magic and mana because of course it is a big question why it seems that all elemental spirits are only on the continent of the four kingdoms. Why is the dryad on this continent? Why is the cliffith on this continent? Why was the first devil war fought on this continent? What's so special about the four kingdoms? All these things distinguish the continent of the four kingdoms from the land of the rising sun where there is a big hint that they may not even use magic at all since they all specialize in reading key. There must be a reason for this. It seemed like Yami never used mana or magic before and only got his magic after he got his grimoire. So it wouldn't surprise me if it turns out that the origin of magic was a divine blessing that this continent received to protect itself from the fallen angels. Who created the underworld, the gates, the spirits, the mana, the dried, the grimoires? So many questions that can only be answered if we consider the existence of a god who cannot intervene directly. Perhaps the church and therefore the origin of religion in Black Clover is due to the blessing that people received, which was the moment when people started to believe in God. We see angels depicted in the church, angels depicted in the royal palace. The three virtues represent the three leaves of the Clover Kingdom. Nacht talked about God and has also tried to talk to God directly. There are so many clues to the existence of angels angels and God that it is literally impossible that they are not part of Black Clover. Before my partner continues this video please take a moment and leave a like. This will support our channel so we can produce more content for you. Thank you. So if there really are angels in Black Clover then as my partner has already explained there must be a reason why they never interfere and never even made an appearance. The only logical explanation is that either they are not allowed to interfere or they cannot interfere because they are prevented from entering into the human world in the same way as the devils. So if there are angels who are allowed to interfere but simply cannot they are probably the ten archangels who represent the positions of the tree of of life just as the ten supreme devils represent the positions of the cliffin. If the devils are allowed to enter the world through the tree of death, that is through the cliffin, then perhaps there is a way to create a tree of life that is a Kabbalah that allows the angels to enter the world as well. How such a ritual is performed probably has something to do with the elves who once already showed that they are able to open certain dimensions when they were able to open the shadow palace. However, we know that many elves are missing. So they do not have enough apostles to use the power of the ten apostles. We know that Licht can most likely be replaced by Yuno and the two new elves can probably fill two more positions. That leaves three positions left to complete the ten apostles of the Sephira. Of course it is possible that the remaining elf mana that is still in the people who were used for the reincarnation could be used to replace the three missing positions and with perhaps opening the world of angels. Maybe William has something to do with this because he has absolved the world tree magic. I'm sure that if such a ritual exists then the dryad will probably know about it. But if this is generally not possible because such a ritual simply does not exist or angels are not only restricted by dimensions but are not allowed to interfere at all then there must be another way for angels to be introduced into Black Clover. If we consider that many years ago there was a blessing that could have been the origin of magic then such a blessing must not happen 
again under any circumstances because that would be the biggest ass pull in the history of Chonin Jump. It's good to explain the origin of magic, but it shouldn't be repeated in any case because otherwise it just allows unrealistic power-ups. So if we assume that the angels can't interfere or won't bless the humans with mana, the only option left is for the angels to somehow buy the humans more time by, for example, temporarily sealing Lucifero in some way, which could then give the humans a little time to prepare and most importantly, this would then be a good way to temporarily stop the war against Lucifero. There is no other way in which the war can already end for good. Obviously, there will be a happy ending in Black Clover, so Lucifero will not win. We know that the humans have no chance of winning against Lucifero right now. So that's also out of the question. So either Lucifero will retreat for strategic reasons to maybe open the remaining gates of the underworld in another way, or maybe because he's so arrogant that he even gives the humans more time so that the war is not so boring to him. The only other possibility is that the devils are somehow temporarily sealed, either like Zagrid was sealed by Sekre or back to the underworld. Sekre is the only one who can use such magic, but she couldn't even seal Vanika with 70% of Magicula's power. Of course, we know that Sekre can now use ultimate magic, which may enable her to seal the devils temporarily. But according to Lucifero's strength, it is very unlikely. So if Lucifero does not voluntarily interrupt the war, he must be forced to do so, and no mortal creature is known to be able to do so. A perfect moment to introduce angels. And so if the angels cannot interfere in the affairs of mortals, the best and the only thing they can do is to give them more time and and perhaps help them with their training in some way. What do you guys think? Are there angels in Black Clover? Let us know in the comments below. So that's it for today folks, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to smash the like button and if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell turned on. See you guys in the next video, yum yum.